What's going on RV world? This is Cam Hilliard from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge and I'm standing in front of the number one selling B-Van in North America. Do you want to know what it is? Okay, so before I tell you what it is, just in case you see it in the background, cover it up. So, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications. You know we stay posting the best content on YouTube in the RV world. So, without further ado, the best selling B-Van in North America is the Winnebago Travato. Now the specific floor plan, you can take a pick. The 59K comes up more often than not. So that is what we're gonna go through today. The Travato and really B vans as a whole have just exploded over the last four or five years. I mean, they've just gotten better and better and better and more popular. So technology is even better. And even this one we're saying from has a new Onan quiet generator on it. We, we showed this um, probably, they've been doing it for the last two years or so. So we showed it on a Solus video not too, too long ago. So. With the popularity rising in B-Vans, there's obviously been a greater demand. Now you'll see prices have gone up too. Now, sometimes that's reflective of demand. That always does weigh a little bit into it. But also, if you look past the dollar signs and actually look at the technology that they pack in this thing, you're going to be really, really impressed. So let's check out this 59K and let's see what you think. All right, so on the back of this, you'll see the ladder. Now this you might be familiar with, with the years past Travato. So they've used the same ladder, um, same bike rack. So this is a bike rack that will hold two full-size bikes, no problem. This ladder actually detaches from this back door and you can slide it all across uh, the roof rack that's on the side here. So it, the roof rack is not just for looks, it's actually very usable since you can move that ladder all along. Now, we've got 215 watts of solar up top. That they've been doing for quite some time, have solar, the, the roof rack, the ladder, and the bike rack. But with the 2023 Travados, they've actually done a big chassis upgrade with the Ram Promaster. So you'll notice as far as uh, the eye test, it looks a lot more automotive. It looks a lot prettier. You have a, a bigger display. But the big differences are in the suspension. It's night and day different. No one, no one ever thought that the old Promaster vans, the old Travados drove bad until you drive one of the new chassis. You're, you'll be completely blown away. I mean, right when I saw it, I was like, okay, that, that, that looks good, let me drive it. I hopped behind it and I've just been so impressed. So the outside of this is pretty standard for B-Vans. You know, you've got the, uh, the bike rack, the ladder. So I'm sorry, pretty, pretty standard for Travados, not B-Vans. Um, so, and then we've got on the side, a little storage for our, our stinky slinky. You've got your generator exhaust, uh, your, your shore power hookup. And also you've got a, gray tank and black tank on this so no cassette you've got true holding tanks so you can actually use that at your dump station no problem you don't have to really worry about getting too dirty still bring gloves just to be safe so that's just a brief toucher on the outside let's go check out the inside so we can see what you like there all right let me step in this screen with the magnet touch love it so right now we're inside the travato 59k floor plan Um, so I'm standing in front of our monitors panel here. So you know that we've got the power control system. This is a smart system that lets you basically shed different things like the refrigerator, you can shed microwaves, stuff like that just so you don't trip breakers. Really, really smart system. You can also select your power source whether you want 15 amps, 20 amps, 30 amps. Very useful system. Now moving, well, to the left, this is just a light switch here. We can do a dimmer or more bright. Now the generator panel, so you've got your auto start, auto stop, or you can just do manual stop and start. Either way is fine. You've also got your meters so you can tell how many hours you have on it. You've got one control here for the water pump, one in the rear. You can monitor your tank levels as well as your chassis and house batteries. So moving to the right, we've got our Truma panel here. So this is going to be what controls our hot water heater and our furnace. Now with the Travato, as opposed to the Solus, you can actually do either, you have two, two gas heating elements and two electric heating elements. So you can actually do a mixture of gas and electric, or you can just do electric on this or, or just gas. Um, so that's fantastic. As you know, I'm a big proponent of having gas and electric hot water heaters. I like being able to, to conserve my propane when I can or go you know, pretty much all electric aside from the engine. Um, so to our right is our inverter control here, 2000 watt inverter. Turn it off and on just like that. So if you don't want to run your generator and you want to watch, you know, TV or if you've got a kid back here who wants to charge their iPad or, or even use the microwave, then you can do that off the inverter uh, without having to crank the generator. So very, very convenient feature. Um, inside, you also have, this is a safety feature here. So you've got your LP valve on and off. This can, again, be useful for kids. So depending on how big they are, 
if you don't want to take any chances of them turning on the, the propane, you can cut off your supply of the propane here. Also, there's a master cutoff down by the propane tank itself. So if you want to be extra safe, you could turn that one off. Typically, I will leave the outside switch on and then I'll just toggle this one back and forth as I need it. You also have holding tank heaters. So because of the your water station in the back, and we'll, we'll get onto that in a little bit, since that station is actually not, doesn't have any lines that go outside, this thing is, is true four seasons. They, this does really, really well in freezing conditions. I've actually got a, a very good friend of mine, customer who went in North Carolina, tons of snow, and he stayed for, I think, two or three days with, with no problem whatsoever. He said it, it worked absolutely like it was supposed to, no problem. So all you do, turn your tank heater on, your furnace, hot water heater, and you're good to rock and roll. So I'm not sure if you know this or not, but whenever I walk through the store, I walk through the screen door and just push it open just with a magnet. So this thing just closes itself back. It's fantastic. You don't have to worry about the sliding door and, and the, the panes of that. All you have to do is just open and close or, or push in and out and this thing magnets. Now they've actually put what feels to me like a, like maybe like a small pool no noodle, which this is a small feature, but it, it actually makes it a lot more convenient and way easier to roll up the screen without it being so tedious. So just a little, like I said, kind of like pool, pool noodle neoprene thing that's in there. It helps you roll this up really nice and easy. So I like that. It's a small detail, but the small details are what make this thing awesome. All right, so we're in the kitchen area of the 59K. If you've seen our video on the 59G Travato, you'll notice that the kitchen area is on the opposite side, pretty similar size. So you'll notice that different to this. So this floor plan is a lot more open. It doesn't feel like there's a hallway. It just feels very open, a lot of natural light. So you've got your 12 volt refrigerator down here with the little freezer unit inside of it. I absolutely love 12 volt refrigerator. I talk about this in all of my videos that have them. They cool faster than your 110 LP refrigerators and you don't have to use your inverter or be hooked plugged to shore power or generator to run. They just run off your battery. And with the 215 solar that we have up here, we can run this thing for quite some time. So we've also got the eco heat out of here. So this is similar to, um, it, it's a similar concept to the, um, I'm blanking on the name that they have in the Winnebago Flex shower miser. So basically it pumps the cold water out of the water lines. So you don't have to wait for your water to get hot. You pump that out and then it's hot water as soon as you do, as soon as you open the tap. So you don't have to waste any water and you waste gray tank space by waiting for your water to get hot. So I love that. That's really convenient. Um, also, you know, these are beautiful countertops. I know that uh, Thor makes a Travalo or something where they basically have the same layout. It's just a, a lot cheaper, even not out on paper. It's, it's not too, too much here, but if you walk in one and then walk in a Travalo, the, the quality is night and day difference. Um, but yeah, so we've got these nice thick countertops, solid surface countertops, deep sink here. Um, and then we've got also the, uh, the sink nozzle that actually goes out pretty far. Sometimes with smaller B vans, they have it where you kind of like have to hit your knuckles on it. Not with this, no problem with that whatsoever. So the Travados come with the option of a dual pane window. We order all of ours with dual panes. So we've got the dual pane window on this. You've got our, I've got a price sheet here, so you just excuse that. So we've got our day shade and that will keep help keep bugs out. And then we've also got um, our nightshade on the other side. I'm sorry, that paper got in the way. And then we've got our nightshade here. So I absolutely love that. And these windows open outward instead of sliding like your just single pane windows do. Also, we have our little power station here. So we've got two 110 plugs and two USB plugs here. We've got one of these um, on the countertop and then one right by the door as well. So really convenient locations for both of those. We've also got our gas burners here. So two gas burners. When you're not using those, you can fold this over, complete the counter countertop space, very clean look. Also, we've got a convection microwave below. Most of the Travados will have the convection. The only ones that didn't were at a period where they couldn't get convection microwave. So typically they're gonna be with the convection microwaves. Um, so we've got plenty of storage below and above on this. So great storage here. Great storage here as well. We've also got the Ram track here. So you can buy different accessories for the Ram track. They're located on a couple different locations throughout the Shavada. So I really, really like that. I love the Ram track technology and it's just very convenient to have. You know, you can store soap up here or spices or whatever you may have, it's sponges. Okay, so before we move back to the sleeping area, the bedroom and the bathroom, uh, I wanna show you some added countertop space to get here and also just a quick view of the cockpit area as well. So yeah, I'm in the front area of the Travato 59K now. So 
like I touched on earlier, we order ours with all the options available. So we've got the upgraded front seats on ours that match the rest of the coach. And then also, you'll notice in your storage compartment here, now this is a standard storage compartment on all the Travados. But we order ours with the Travado mat that will go in the front area. And then also the Travado rug that's specially cut out for this floor space. You don't have to worry about uh, how am I going to get a rug that's going to fit this area. Am I going to have to cut one? No, we've got one specially made for it that comes from Winnebago. Really pretty. Also very resilient. So. It's not like dirt or rocks are going to stain it. It's just easy. You take it out, sweep it off, and you're good. Actually, you can even hose it off, and you'll be good. Also, both of these caption chairs will swivel. Um, also, we'll show you here in a minute, too, the upgraded dash. You've got adaptive cruise control on this new chassis upgrade. Much bigger radio unit. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, the to at the, the eye test, it looks different than what the old chassis was, but the main difference is going to be the drive and the feel of it. So that you're just gonna have to come out and see us for. But also, we've got some extra countertop space here. So with this, it gives you extra countertop space, or if you want to swivel the chairs around, maybe a, a little a little desk space here. Um, really, you can use it for a, a plethora of different reasons. But you have that ability to open up your counter space and get a lot more out of it. So I really really like that. Um, also, you have USB plugs really all over this thing. I didn't even notice you've actually got a USB two USB plugs and two 110 plugs right behind this seat. And yeah, I didn't notice that, but that's fantastic. You've also got USB plugs and the um, USB-Cs up front. So really, it's you can tell everything's very convenient on the Shivado. To my left, we've got the Lagoon table. So there's a location for that right here. That works well with the swivel seats. Also, there's a location by the foot of the bed. So you can use this area as kind of like a, like a little hanging out, eat, drink area too, if you want. So we're gonna swivel around and check out the bedroom area, show you the TV with the awesome sound bar, and then finish out with the bathroom. All right, so in this 59K, it's got the twin beds as opposed to the 59G floor plan, which has the corner beds, kind of like a trapezoid shape. This, you can have two separate sleeping areas. You've got the middle cushions here that you can use as kind of just like a, like a hangout space. That's very comfortable too. Also, these have seat belts on this side, so a lot of people ask about that. It's already got the seat belts installed, fantastic lap belts. Um, but if you want to, you've actually got a little, uh, a little zombie system here that will come across and you can turn this into a king bed. So a lot of my customers go for convenience and they typically keep them as twin beds is because they're not, you know, they're really only sleeping sometimes in this. Basically, they're sleeping and when they're not sleeping, they're camping, they're outside, you know, hiking, doing whatever you may have it. So a lot of times people keep it as this just for simplicity's sake, but if you want to, it's not hard to do. I mean, this piece slides over just like that. And then these middle cushions fit perfectly in here. There's really not much to it. Now, you don't have a whole lot of storage on this driver's side underneath the bed. You have a small bit of storage, but this is actually houses your Truma system underneath. So that takes up majority of the space here, Truma and different plumbing lines that go to the sink. Now on the passenger side bed, you actually have a ton of storage underneath here. So since you're in a B van, you're limited to, to the storage you have. Winnebago did a really good job of adding storage underneath in addition to all the overhead cabinets that you have. So very useful, I, I really, really like that. Um, and they've also got, some people are like, okay, well, where am I gonna put my phone at night? You know, my notepad, my book. They actually have this on either side, a little compartment here where you can put your stuff and keep it nice and tucked away. And also they've got reading lights, either blue, or you can do the soft white there. Also USB connectors, I'm sorry, USB plugs on either side here. 110 plugs at the foot. Now this TV, I absolutely love. So my goal when I camp is to kind of unplug, detach, not watch as much TV if I can help it, not even get on my phone a whole lot if I can help it. But the rainy days, or let's say we want to double this thing as a tailgate machine, well this TV mount will actually come out and we can swivel it this way, watch it from either side of the bed very comfortably. Now on the opposite scenario, we can actually spin it out here and watch it from outside so i love that and you're thinking okay well it's kind of loud outside especially if you're at a tailgate well how are you going to be able to hear the tv well it's got a jbl soundbar so this soundbar you can either bluetooth it um or you can use the optical cable and go that way but fantastic sound quality you're not going to have any trouble hearing the tigers win uh with this soundbar so like i said a tons of overhead storage here we've got the dual pane windows on all this now the only sliding window is gonna be this side window just for safety reasons, you have to have that one there. Um, 
but yeah this is very very cozy like i said it doesn't feel so crammed um i think that the 59g floor plan works well if you want that you know you want a little bit bigger bathroom you want a the separate freezer unit but you do have to give up on the bed area with this you give up the freezer unit aside from that it's really really open that's why the 59k floor plan seems to do so well for us now we've got our ac here our coleman mott really quiet ac i kind of touched on that earlier so even as quiet as the ac is it still overpowers the generator you still hear the the ac little little quiet whisper of of wind instead of the generator whenever it's running so i really like that um and then moving on to the bathroom we've got some pretty cool features back there too all right check that out so dual sliding doors there they've got snaps too which you know i know this isn't really a compare and contrast video but even speak on just because I, I had some some customers uh if they see this video the dupe breeze i appreciate y'all they came the other day and just compared the thor travalo i might be butchering that but to the uh, Travato, and they were much happier with the Travato. Um, they even noted that with the Travato, you've got these nice snaps here that will hold these doors. Now, I know right when you look at this thing, you're probably not going to notice that unless you've seen the competing product, whereas this have a little bungee strap to hold it, and those things don't last, they break, and they look really tacky. So this is a really nice, clean, finished look. Um, also inside here, so pretty good size wet bath. You can still stand it. You can still shower without having to sit down. So I do like that about it. Uh, also, the sink in here is really unique. It just folds up. Basically, there's not a drain on the sink itself. You use it, wash your hands, and whenever you're done, you just fold it up, and it drips down into your gray tank there. So I, I think that's really cool. It's unique. You've actually got a nice mirror in here with some storage behind that. So if you've got any medicine that you need to take or even toothpaste or anything like that, you can store that there without a problem, out of sight, out of mind. Um, now on this you've got the gloss finish cabinets here So you do have a curtain, but with the finish that's on these cabinets Hopefully if they if they do get any water on them, they're gonna be pretty water resistant Now you still don't want to soak them down But it's not gonna handle water the same way that the that the European style cabinets would inside the cabin of this So in here you've got removable drawers. I'm sorry removable shelves So you can actually use this as hanging space Anyone who's had a B-Van 4 or has done any B-Van shopping knows that hanging space is an absolute premium. So you've got good hanging space here. If you're not someone who hangs stuff, then again, you've got the uh, shelves that are removable or you can keep them in here. Now below that, we've got some more storage here. This is a deep, deep cat or deep storage compartment here. So you can put shoes, folded clothes, towels, whatever you have. This is a lot of storage space. Now behind me, we've actually got another uh screen system that's similar to what we have by the sliding door so on a day where it's really nice weather you're somewhere where it's beautiful you can use your screen by the entry door you can use your screen in the back and keep this thing open have the breeze flow through and it's going to be really really enjoyable for you because they make it easy to do so now also you have these canvas material shades that have zippers on them so you can I also have snaps on so you can completely unsnap them get them out the way if you wanted to um, if you're when you're driving or you can just unzip the unzip the little um, I guess you almost like little doors unzip the they're like tent flaps really it's like a like this old tent camp and like, unzip the tent flaps and you can look through that way so you can black it out you can remove them completely or you can unzip them so I really like that it's very convenient this really is not bad size at all so that's some of the things that people say why they prefer the G model over the K just because this is is it definitely is a good bit smaller than the than the Travato 59G bathroom but all in all it's it's not bad and we've even got a little 12 volt fan here too so that'll help cool this thing out and pull some uh pull some heat out after you shower so I like that um we're gonna show you actually the water uh like your little utilities compartment here in a second and we're gonna close this thing out okay so now we're in the back of the Travato 59K You'll notice uh, this utilities panel in the back here. This is the same thing that they use on the Solus, the Revel. Um, I might be missing one, but I know they use it on those three, or on the, those two and this one as well. So with this, you can hook to your city water. You can also do your black tank flush from here. You can siphon water uh, from a tank using a pump. You can do tons of different things with this. Now, if you want to be hooked up to city water, you have to have your door open in the current configuration. It's the only con to this. There has been some complaints, but more people appreciate it because they don't have to worry about an extra water line freezing. So that's a pretty good design. Some people in Louisiana don't love it as much, but I know there are a lot of y'all out there where it gets cold who, who really actually like that, that you don't have to worry about another water line freezing. Um, 
So on the back of this, you actually have another switch for your water pump. So you've got a switch for your water pump here, a switch for your water pump here by the shower, and then one on the front uh, on your generator control panel. You've got one there as well. So three different places where you can turn it on, so you're never going to get somewhere where you need the water and can't, and you know, can't get to the, the switch. You're not going to have to walk inside or anything like that. Um, so you've also got some storage here. This is a good spot for a water hose, power cable, and then you've got actually, a, they have a built-in compartment for your little stinky slinky uh, on the exterior there. Now you'll notice these poles, you might recognize these. These actually are the same thing they use on the Solus that you can do the outdoor shower with. So they're just gonna mount here and here, and you've got a curtain there in the back that if you're somewhere a little bit more remote, I, I don't know, to each of their own, but I, for me, a little bit more remote, you know, you can put your curtain here, have the outdoor shower, um, and enjoy a view at the same time. Uh, but yeah, so I, I actually have grown to like this system a lot more, like I said, without having to worry about it freezing. And once you familiarize yourself with it, it's a very capable system. It can do a lot. I mean, even just to read you through the settings, you've got dry camping, power fill tank, city water, winterized, sanitized. You can do a lot with it, so that's very convenient. In the rear here, you've got one 10 plug, a switch for this light here, and then you've actually got a plug for a 12 volt. So with the Ram Pro Master, it comes with uh, an air compressor just in case you get a flat and you can plug into there or on the side of the vehicles too. So I hope we covered everything. If we missed anything, let us know. We'd love to answer your questions. These Travados are fantastic. There's a reason why they're the best selling V vans in North America. We've got a handful of them in stock, so come check them out, guys. We appreciate it. And as always, enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer. And if you have nothing else to do, watch one of these videos here. Subscribe so you know when more are coming out. Have a great day and enjoy the journey.